Hello friends, welcome to Connected. Once again, we meet here to connect with friends from all over the world. My name is Fabiana Espinosa and I will be guiding you through today's journey from Santa Cruz, Bolivia in South America. I hope you had a great week and find yourself ready and open to enjoy what the weekend brings to you, whether it's time off or some work. I want to thank you for taking the time to connect with me. Remember that you don't only see us through the Abbey Ayala channel, but also through our signal on Facebook, Twitter, and later when the show is finished, on our channel on YouTube. Marked advances towards gender equality and women empowerment, especially during the last century, progress has been slow and disparities persist around the world. Unfortunately, science is not immune to such inequalities, with women representing only a third of researchers globally and often facing gender-based discrimination and a lack of equal opportunities. Here on Connected, I refuse to speak about the negative side of the situation. On the other hand, I like to spread, to show and to support amazing women that contribute to our beautiful world from whatever field they are in. Today, I celebrate women researchers. My guest is a Bolivian woman, biochemist researcher that currently works in one of the most prestigious hospitals in the US and the world, the Johns Hopkins Hospital. Her name is Daniela Villegas. She will connect with us from Baltimore, Maryland in the US. Before we dive into Daniela's experiences, let's meet her. Daniela was born in Oruro, Bolivia. Although most of her life she lived in La Paz City, where she got her high school diploma. After finishing high school, she moved to Cochabamba to attend college, where she earned her bachelor's degree in the field of biochemistry. She worked in Bolivia as a pharmacist right before she moved to the U.S. with her husband. They lived in Utah for almost one year, and then they decided to move to Maryland, where they currently live. To this date, Daniela has been living in the U.S. for almost 11 years. She started working at the Johns Hopkins Hospital in 2013. She worked as a laboratory technologist for four years and then she decided it was time to try something new and apply for a research specialist position at the Johns Hopkins University, where she has been working for almost two years. She has some family in the US, Canada and Mexico, but most of her family lives in Bolivia. Daniela tries to go back and visit Bolivia as much as she can because she misses the people and the culture a great deal. Currently, she lives in Baltimore. She is married and they have a four-month-old baby and two dogs. She strongly believes that when you work hard and do what you love, you can achieve anything you put your mind on. It is my pleasure today to introduce Daniela Villegas. Daniela is talking to us all the way from Baltimore in the U.S. Daniela, thank you for taking the time to spend with us and for actually be, being here and telling us about your story. You are very welcome on the show. Let's go ahead with the first question. And tell us, how did you realize that your profession uh, was going to be related to the medical area? Did you have any influences? Um, yes, hi. Um, Bobby, thank you for doing this interview. Um, uh, I am very happy to be here um, doing this with you. Um, well, related to my profession, Yes, it's actually, um, it's more like personal thing. Um, my mom had a very long disease and along the way I actually um, got to meet a lot of wonderful people, nurses and doctors and, you know, lab professionals that actually work to help her, um, you know, feel better and uh, who did all they could to, to you know, um, 
give her a better quality of life while she was um, in the hospital or while she was suffering of this disease. So that actually inspired me. I, I, I thought, you know what, I want to be um, somebody that actually, you know, get one day to help somebody like, like my mom, somebody like me, somebody that, you know, have a disease and it's um, ill and it's suffering and, you know, just do anything I can to help. So, so that was actually my influence. Yes, that, that was it. Right. And uh, so you uh, work as a biochemistry, correct? That is that is your field on the like, say, on the biggest uh, area, like medical area, your field, it's biochemistry, correct? So tell us, how was your experience studying it and getting the skills? Because I don't know how many years it take, but I do know that you started in Bolivia and now you were in the US. Tell us, how was your experience? But um, it's it's hard. Let me tell you that um, uh, the education that we receive in Bolivia and college level is actually very it's good. It's, it's very high quality. Um, especially, I went to um, a public university, and you know there there's so many people that want to obtain the degree, and it's so really cheap. <laughs> that there's a lot of people and there's a lot of competence um so you really have to work hard to get it um so it was hard it was challenging but at the same time it was very rewarding it was great because I, I just love what i um what i do i love what i was studying and i love to learn about all this you know the the human body the organism the cells all the tissues the organs and systems in the body they're just fascinating so because of that i had you know the um instant uh, the incentive to actually work hard to get it um but then there was another issue when i came here to the u.s um, I tried to start working using the credentials that I obtained in Bolivia and they actually don't take, I mean, they don't validate it that he 